bring it here. Bring <laughs> it in the water.
that's it. That's the slope I'm going to put on it. It's manageable height. That's what I was checking for uh, working. So I'll build a platform across this these two center tie beams. And have an upright here. This height from the obviously be cut off there and resting on that top log, the header, and then. An up right there and up right there, which will be half the height of this to zero, so it'll be roughly three feet. And that'll carry the two other purlins that are going to be sticking out across the porch front, uh, covered porch. So that's next. I'm going to plane this board or this top log and plane that flat on top. Uh, so it's got about a six inch flat spot right here. And then not sure if it'll be these or uh, some longer. Well, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna frame that so I'll have the two. I'll have a log upright, a log upright, log upright, and then I'll frame between those logs with the two by six so that I can insulate this space. And then I'm probably going to do sort of a half log look so I still get the log look, full log gable ends, the look at least without having the settling issues. The problem is when you do that kind of that kind of um, gable end or roof structure. When you do that with logs that are not completely aged, like or even uh, uh, kiln dried, then with that settling, what happens is this being six feet, that would shrink maybe four inches, let's say. So as that comes down, it starts flaring the the rafters out at the sidewalls. So it um, just doesn't work. It either Something has to give, so it's either going to lift off somewhere or it's going to be under a lot of pressure or it's going to want to push the outside logs out, those walls out. So by doing a framed roof line or roof structure, um, I'll avoid that issue. So all this is going to still settle. Hopefully fill in about half that gap at least. Now I have an insulation layer in there to uh, stop drafts but also to continue to allow for any more settling that's going to happen over the next five years. So I do have the other log on the other side to do still, but I have my heights, so I don't have to jump on that yet. I think just for um, my sanity and <laughs> just to stop doing just logs, I think what I'll do is actually frame this wall next. Yeah, so what I'll do next is I'll cut this log, cut these two logs, get them up in place, frame this whole front, and then spend a, probably two days on the mill. And I didn't move the mill with the four-wheeler. Took a while, dragged it down through the bush. Lots of uh, maneuvering to get it out by the greenhouse that's outside the fence. So I'll be able to um, mill all the two by eights that I need for the rafters. Because I need them to be 15 feet long. That's the other thing I was checking with this height. So with this roof slope, it's about 12 feet to the eave, which will give me a three foot overhang on both sides, which is what I was looking for. It's what I had calculated, but just wanted to make sure it's working out that way. These top three logs, just that one, that one, and this one, took me over a week just to get those three into place. It took at least three hours just to get them up onto the cabin. I think that one's almost a full day because I got it up and then it fell down again. One of the ends, and then I had to start over with the cable hoist or the cable. Um, hoist system that I've got here. In fact, on the back side, in order to get this cable up high enough, I actually had to use the four-wheeler to pull that tree tight, or pull it that way so that it would tighten the cable. And I had to leave it like that while I host, hoisted these up, this one and that one. I guess that one too, yeah, because I brought them up and rolled it across. So I'm glad that's over with. One more log to do on the back, but I think so that's where the high point is on all the, all the cables. So I think that'll go up fairly easily, or easier than these ones at least. Now the other thing is that's slowing me down is I still have some work to do on the on the uh, gardens and just maintaining them now, but also helping out my daughter Emily to build that shed, that garden shed, and uh, that's not done yet either. So I think I'll probably take another day off of here, 31 degrees Celsius tomorrow. So I think what I'll do is. Uh, 
probably work with her in the morning and try to get that up and then maybe go canoeing. Got a fish, short fishing trip you know, scheduled for a few days from now with a couple of buddies. So I'll, I'll show you that probably next week as well. Yeah, anyway, if you want to check out Emily's channel, she's doing a lot more of the gardening, uh, building of garden structures and cooking on her channel. So um, I'm not sure when we'll finish that shed. But I'd help her out for probably two more days, probably get that thing done. And then she's going to fin finish that shelter in the, um, underneath that shed as well. Not the shelter, the cellar. Um, so that we can start getting some food into there. Anyway, rambling enough, so I'm going to get back to work. So thanks for watching, appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin next time.